do you know what? This is my one thing is, this is why I don't really have any sympathy for Spurs or Conte in regards of, I don't think either of them can now complain afterwards. That's definitely my take on it. Spurs knew exactly what they were and who they were getting in Antonio Conte. They knew it when they had the talks in the summer of 2021 that collapsed. They knew then. It all fell apart because Conte didn't feel that Spurs had the ambitions to match his. And Spurs felt that what he was asking for was unrealistic and unmanageable. Nothing changed other than no better offers were on the table for either party. Yet they still went, hey, come on then, let, let's do it. Let, let's Let's get together. Um, and shock horror, pretty much everything we predicted would happen has happened. And now we find ourselves, I wouldn't say quite back to square one. You could say they're on a higher footing than they were, especially league position wise. Um, but definitely they haven't really built to go forward because they are going to have to rip up what they've done. You know, if you, if, if they were like, um, like a Brighton, I guess, you could argue that because of their system of hiring similar kinds of managers, when they lose someone like Graham Potter, they're able to bring in De Zerbe and he's able to build perfectly on what's already in place and make it better or whatever, or just continue the same vein. Whereas at Spurs, because they go, that kind of manager, that kind of manager, this kind of philosophy, that kind of philosophy, this tactic, that formation, this kind of squad, I need that. Every time they change, it's just ripping it up and starting again. And that's why there's never any real progress um, or, or sustained progress between managers. That's why the only time they get progress is when they're actually stable and they stick with a manager, as we saw. Um, so, yeah, I'd say Conte probably leaves with his reputation intact. I think he will. I think people will know he's got high demands and he will have these kind of meltdowns of sorts. But I also think that the fact that he took Spurs to... He'll just say he did his job. Took him to fourth last season, got him in the Champions League, and he took him to fourth place again. Or Yeah, well, he left them in fourth place. There's no, there's no denying that fact. So I think anyone that then thinks about hiring him in the summer says, well, you know, even at Spurs, he managed to get him back on track. And that's sad, but I think that's what they say, even at Spurs. So I think if you're a big club, maybe a PSG, you probably think... Maybe he can do the job, although, if I'm going to be ultra-critical again, if I'm PSG, their big obsession is to win the Champions League. And Conte, you know, Spurs have a better track record than in the Champions League than Conte as a manager. So, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say he's the man to desperately come in and win you the Champions League. So, But then again, I think, let's be honest, if there's Italian jobs coming up, I'd imagine that's where he'll head back to. Um, I think Real Madrid decided against him before as well, I think, from what I understand, from what people were saying in Spain. So whether I don't know if he'd be a possibility for that. But then, to be honest, he still has a whole situation with his family then anyway. Um, you'd think he needs that um, that Italian um, you know, return to be able to be back with his family and, and be so much closer to them. Um yeah, so I think his reputation will probably just about remain intact. I think he'll be fine. I think there might be some people a little bit wary, but on the whole, I think they'll still see him as a man that can come in and as long as you give him the right project, uh, will win you silverware. And especially in Italy, I think, as well. Um, leave his reputation? Meh. I don't know if you can say the same. I think it's just yet another managerial... I suppose bungle in a way, a decision that's just has not proved to be the right one. I'm sure there's good intentions there. I'm sure there is. But when everyone is screaming at you, no, it's the wrong fit, and you're still trying to wedge it into the jigsaw, you know, like using like a, a crowbar to get it in there, it's like sometimes you've just got to listen to different voices. That is my thing. It's just like I don't know who. Well, I guess I kind of do. I guess Fabio Paracici has played his part as well and, and other voices, I suppose, in the boardroom. But whoever kind of says, yeah, 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 that's a great idea. No, I just, oh, I'd love there to be different voices around and, and just just to kind of explain why things haven't worked. Because, you know, how many times, like I say, can you keep ripping up the same 
piece of paper and start drawing on it again without realizing that you're trying to draw the wrong thing <laughs> that's a terrible analogy sorry that's what that's what happens when you're trying to think on the fly um and the other thing that's worrying as well is 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 it's going to be the fans and, and this growing frustration with with levy and the owners and everything um and they've had a season when it's been a chore it's been a real you know, I, I, I love my job and I love going to watch Spurs. But even for me to watch the games has been like, ugh. And I get in there for free. I get paid to go and watch these games. Whereas, this, you know, you people that, you fans, you very loyal, amazing fans um, that go head off around the world, to be honest, following Tottenham, deserve so much better than what you get. And I am so worried, worried for the club. It's not my problem, but season ticket renewals are coming up. They absolutely are. And I would be shocked if they don't raise the prices. I would be shocked if they do, because I'm not saying that's definite. And by all means, they may look at the current mess that's going on and hopefully look at the cost of living crisis as well and decide maybe not the best time to whack on a, a hike into the uh, the season ticket prices um especially after such a season that's been so rubbish for people to watch you know they may look at it and say hey you know you're you watch a team that are in the top four and playing champions league football and then you know and we've got our own costs to deal with they may well look at that and in a cynical way they may look at it and say yeah all right don't take your season ticket because the next person's going to want to snap it up um, and that sadly I think is probably is a part of its supply and demand and business and that's where it's sadly football and business you realise that there ultimately is a big business side to it as well but oh my goodness I can I know the reaction is going to be if those are put up in, in the current mess and having just sacked a manager uh, sorry not sacked a manager parted on mutual terms agreement um Doing that, Harry Kane, your star player's future, still up in the air. Um, you know, those amazing loyal fans you speak of, they're not going to feel as amazed or loyal if you're going to hit them with a, a price rise. Um, you know, I said this stat in the last video. Conte leaving now means that Spurs have not had a manager complete a full season since 2018-19. What what are the fans paying more money for? What would they be? And again, they may not raise those prices, but I just get the impression they're going to. I do. This is the feeling I get a hunch that they're going to do it. What are they paying for? Uh, you know, you can't. It's not, you know, Gladiator. Are you, enter are you not entertained? Because no, no, they haven't been. Spurs fans have not been entertained other than the odd little kind of unexpected moment for a while now. They've had three managers in a row who, let's be honest, they're more pragmatic managers. Uh, there's, don't get me wrong, there's been moments with all of them where you've gone, like, oh, wasn't that great? That, that, was, that, was a, that was well worth the entrance fee. But it's not been consistent. So, oh, honestly, I, I, just, I just know what the reaction is going to be. And again, these are these scenarios where you, you just need someone that's able to say, no, just no, just don't do it, don't do it.